Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to build and run a simple Node.js web application using AWS App Runner from the AWS console. I have logged into my AWS account. Since I recently visited this, you could see the AWS App Runner here. Otherwise, you will be able to go and search for AWS App Runner and then select the service. Click create an app runner service. First, we need to select the source. So we have the option to either select a container registry or the source code repository. So in today's demo, I am going to show how to build and run the web application from the source code. So I am selecting the source code repository and connect to GitHub. Already I connected to my GitHub repository. So that's why you are seeing the connection name as demo. So if you wanted to add a new connection, you can add a new connection, click add new and you can create a new connection and then you can install using a another ID also. I'm canceling this and now I'm going to select the repository where my source code is there. So my source code is available in the Scenery repository. The branch name I am going to select as main branch and I am going to select the deployment trigger as automatic. Whenever there is any change which is pushed to the main branch automatically it is going to trigger a deployment. Click next. So I am going to select the runtime because my application is a node.js application node 16 and the build command is going to be npm install and the start command is going to be node server.js port I'm going to leave it as 8080 click next and the service name I'm going to call it as scenery which will CPU and the virtual memory I'm going to leave it as the default or even we can use a very less uh, CPU and memory because this is going to be a very very simple uh, node.js application I'm going to use the AWS KMS key. I'm going to leave everything else as default and then click next. Now let us review the configuration. Then click create and deploy. The create service event has started. The status is pending. Now the status in progress. It's deploying. The deployment has succeeded. You can see the logs here, apprana event logs here. And this is the link in which we will be able to access our application. Let's click that. Now we could see our application is successfully running. Now let us go and do some changes to this application so that let's see right how automatically the change gets deployed. Go in the public folder index.html I'm going to edit it I'm going to just put a statement as updated as this is just for the demo purpose commit the changes I'm committing going to commit to a new branch create a pull request merge the pull request Now we could see the status is operation in progress earlier it was running and you can see here deploying right it has started a deployment since it was the first time earlier so it was a create service so the service is already there so now we are going to do the redeployment so that's why the event is called as a start deployment and the status is in progress so the changes have been successfully deployed now let's go and validate that Let's refresh yeah now we could see the application with our changes in this demo we have seen how to build and deploy a simple node.js application using AWS app runner from the AWS console if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo